Now we're going to take you to southern India where we've just seen pictures of the country launching its first mission to Mars. Now here are shots from just a few moments ago, India's space station. It's attempting to launch this rocket from the fourth country to reach the planet. Very fantastic, steady flight of the way. Lift off, it is moving up, I can see. Going, there it goes. A successful launch of the Mangalyan or Mars craft, as it's known there, from the Indian space station. It's going to be heading off on a 300 day mission and will be traveling some 780 million kilometers to reach Mars. Let's bring in our guest. Francisco Diego from University College in London. He's a senior research fellow at the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Francisco, a lot of jubilation in India and I should think around the world in the space community that that rocket, that launch was successful because there are a lot of attempts that have not been in the past. Oh yes, there are thousands of things that can go wrong in all these missions and then uh, if one of them goes wrong then the whole mission fails. So, uh, so far so good, this is a very successful launch and there are lots of things to overcome in the next few weeks essentially uh, until the Mars uh, probe goes into, into, uh, away from the Earth and finally reaches Mars orbit. Uh, it will be several uh, weeks now and then a few months until finally reaches its uh, destination. And when it does reach yeah, its successful launch, yeah. yeah, when it does reach, it, reach its destination, Francisco, can you tell us more about what exactly it's going to be doing? Well, yes. If I can uh, 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 describe this, the uh, the space probe is going to uh, uh, go in uh, uh, for 700 million kilometers, as we just heard, and it will reach Mars orbit. Once it reaches, this is a globe of Mars, uh, just to illustrate what's going to happen. Mm. Once it reaches Mars, it will slow down by uh, coming in front of Mars and the gravity of Mars will slow it down and finally will enter in orbit around Mars, but it will be a very elliptical orbit. At this scale, the uh, closest point of Mars in that orbit will be only about 300 kilometers, which is just grazing the surface of Mars here. And on the other part of the orbit, it will be as far as 10 meters away in this scale. So it will be a very elliptical orbit that will allow the project, the, the, the probe, to probe the different, from different distances, different characteristics of, uh, of the en environment around Mars. A very ambitious, a very ambitious uh, uh, project indeed. Yeah, it certainly seems, I mean, when you try and describe it to us like that, we get a, a clearer picture of what it's actually going to be doing. I mean, this is an enormous feat for India, is it not? It is, it is, yes, and uh, we hope that it will be successful. Uh, they has the hope of the third world countries actually reaching this kind of level of technology, which is very important to develop the country itself with high level jobs, high level technical jobs that will no, no doubt uh, permeate in a lot of things, exam uh, for example, exciting younger generations into technology and science and space in countries that will otherwise wouldn't have it. A very important thing to do, I think, and it's nice that they are doing it. Absolutely. Francisco, Diego, many thanks for joining us there. A great day for India's space exploration.